G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to my storage build for my camping, hiking gear and YouTube studio, part 10. What do you think? How's it looking? Yeah, this is what we got done. If you remember in the last video, this one cracked all the way down, it started there, around and back up. So what I had to do is I actually glued it, which I don't think was going to be strong enough, and I've added just three screws in here, which is actually holding it quite strong. So happy with that now. And notice we've got all the sound dampener put up. Now I was only going to take it to this point here, but I kept looking at it and looking at it and I thought, no, nah, it didn't look right stopping there. So I brought it all the way up to the end here. And that's going around the full length of this shelf and all the way to the edge on here and it's amazing just by adding that one it's made a massive difference to when I'm got the uh, speakers for my computer working in opposite corner even though I had this up which did reduce it the echo and that tinny sort of noise sound this just increased that big big time so i'm happy with that what i am going to do i'm not thinking it, i'm going to do it is this i'm going to continue down here it just doesn't look right with having that gap and that's just out of me personal preference so I'm going to have a piece this one the same and the same down the other end just to finish it off to run it underneath the sound dampening I've still got to do the rest of this one Put the trim on the front here the fascia and I'm going to do the same here I'm just going to run it all the way across just to finish it off to make it look nice and the way I actually fitted these, I don't know if you just might just see it, there's a staple in there. I just stapled them on and it seems to have worked pretty nice. Now let me know what you think about these. Should I paint them black so it just hides and disguises or should I just leave it as wood? Leave me a comment. I'm in two minds. Next thing I got done, it's not completed, I still have to trim along the bottom here just so it's level with the next one and I just want to sand that back because it's actually a little bit close and it catches a bit but I have put these little latches on and then he went with the small ones so we've got two of those just evenly space up so now packs aren't pushing the doors open because I've got latches one up here and one at the bottom so there's one there's the other and they're just down here now I did experiment with these this one I put the screw on the top and you've got an option for two here but at the top that would have been too close to the edge so I went with the actual fascia ones but I did slightly drill out two holes here for them screws that fit in so it doesn't miss the door closing and the latch doing up so yep that cupboard apart from the shelf in there and these little bits on the door is now complete this is what I want to get done in this video get these three doors on I was short of some latches so I went out and bought a couple more yesterday and like $1.75, $1.76 each so that's they're up there ready I've measured the spacing for the doors and the plan is to make the doors similar to this one here but before cutting down the 
middle and putting them up as two separate ones which you can never get angled right I'm going to measure it so it fits in properly then I'm going to screw or mark the holes and drill them then I'm going to go out cut the center line then install them separately and they should be nice and level at the bottom so we've got three of those to get made today and at the back of these cupboards as I mentioned before I've still got to do the sound uh, proofing and the bits of wood at the back just to close it all off and finish it do some pre-drilling for the fascia over there The drill holes are down to pre-drill because of this piece I can't get in properly so I'm just going to redo them a little bit further out to give it easier access. Nice, that's turned out pretty good. Yeah, it does look better with a face on. Right, it's going to cut these pieces here now, and the two small pieces for that one. Yeah, prefer that. Just like this one. There we go, and then piece is done. Now I think it's a matter of heading outside and making the doors and then come back and measure them. Okay, put the first one of the doors I'm making today into place. Not screwed in or marked yet. The actual door wood is a little bit thicker than the actual frame here. So it all seems to work pretty well. Not far off level from the bottom, space at the top to open. So I'll mark all these and I'm going to cut it down the centre, then I'll come back and screw it in place. Just 
plastic nuts. Let's check it. Yep, that's that one. What we're going to do, we're going to P drill, just make it easier to screw. Door number two done. So fourth door is up. Now, lucky enough. I wasn't going to keep this one because this wood here is actually warped and twisted uh, a little bit too much but as I was cutting it to get this down the centre the dogs came racing around my feet which is very unusual because they don't normally come anywhere near me when I've got power tools and as I tried to um, let go and move it safe out their way I actually cut down here at an angle so the gap at the bottom is a little bit bigger than the top but that's okay. So the four doors, let's say, are done now. Like so I just got to replace uh, this one here. Yeah, I started to come off here. So you place the whole door, get it all put back up there, mark it and fit it again. When I've got some more wood that will fit that space because I don't have any left now. So we're going to start on now is the very back of the cupboard.
get a sort of screw at the bottom. And what this piece is for is just to hold it away from the wall. Soundproofing will go in here, level with this one, all the way across, and the rest of it will be screwed from the other side to fit into the actual uh, the beam, the shelf support frame, the frame. That's it. So that'll hold that in place. And the next thing now is to get a measurement all the way across and then put some soundproofing on. Okay, one, seven, six. So let's take it from the bottom to be safe. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Up to there. <coughs> Got a line. Not far off. Not good. Mm, that's the first one. I'm going to have to cut a piece to go here. Or should I say I'll go like that first, and then cut a piece to go there. And then we'll get it up in the cupboard. And this has got a sticky back as you can imagine. Seven five thirty four on a smidgen. Covered.
nice and tight fit. Nice and secure. You can see some insulation here, the soundproofing overlapping. That means when I put the next one on, it'll actually squash up against that and create a nice tight seal. Okay, the next part is now to start organising. A lot of this here, I don't want up in the top cupboard. It's, the, it's like this section, a lot of the Helenops will be going down in one of the bottom cupboards. But up the top cupboards, I'm going to start with the hammocks and work my way across. And also want my sleeping bags and my down top quilt and bottom quilt up here. Now I've got this to sort out for now until I've done these cupboards at the back and the soundproofing and then work to the bottom to the cupboard at the back there and soundproofing and then get the doors on but that'll be for another video. Everything on my list got done. It took me four days, not in total, a little bit the first day, a little bit second day, a little bit third day and a little bit today. To get it all done plus all the other things I've been doing around the house and off out and hospital runs and stuff like that for family but hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and hit the thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much